in a blockbuster trade has happened. I didn't expect this, ladies and gentlemen. The New York Knicks are sending four first round picks, the 25, 27, 29, and 31. A 25 protected Milwaukee first, a 2028 protected pick swap, and a 25 second round pick for Mikhail Bridges and a 2026 pick. They also threw in Boyan Bogdanovich. The rebuild is underway in Brooklyn. The New York Knicks are. Holy crap. Guys, I didn't expect us to have Mikhail Bridges join the New York Knicks. So let me tell you what the New York Knicks now look like heading into next offseason with the expectation that OG Ananobi and Isaiah Hardenstein are going to be brought back. Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, Mitchell Robinson, Dante DiVincenzo, Deuce McBride, Mikhail Bridges, OG Ananobi, Isaiah Hardenstein. That's just nine dudes. We we still technically have Mama Didi, Akiti, Jarrell, Co. Sims, and Daquan Jeffries on that team. Ladies and gentlemen. And you technically also have Dane, you know, Dwayne Washington and Jacob Tom, but wow. Wow, 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 wow. This was not what we were expecting right now. And I think it just goes to show, dude, the league is wide open. And we're living in an era that the New York Knicks know they have a championship team. They know that they need to take full advantage of the team that they have right in front of them. And by getting Mikhail Bridges, this team is a bona fide. Like Mikhail Bridges is not even a the he's like the fourth best player. Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle, and OG and Anobi are arguably all better than Mikhail Bridges. And then you have Mikhail Bridges. You gotta think that the the, the Knicks are the favorites. The Knicks are the favorites. And if you don't believe that, you're lying to yourself. Because this wow, it's incredible. I think this is a a great deal for the, the the Nets because they get so many first round picks. I think the Knicks, they looked around the market and they realized that the only player like actually worth potentially going after was basically Mr. Mikhail Bridges. And there's really nothing you can say about it. I mean, holy. Wow, I'm here in New York right now for the draft. And the fact that I guess Mr. Mikhail Bridges doesn't need to work at, worry about getting a new apartment because he's staying in town. But literally in New York, while this all goes down, I just could not believe that this is actually how Mikhail Bridges' time in Brooklyn ends. He lasts a season and a half. And I, you look at it this way because you know Brooklyn, they were going to have to do the deal regardless because you're at a point in your franchise is hit like look at what the nets were you're obviously going to move off don't expect Boyan to stick around but you obviously needed to make a move ben simmons is going to stay on the team and they're going to ride that out cam johnson dorian finney smith dennis schroeder cam thomas deron sharp like it's so hodgepodge you need to move forward with Noah Connolly, Derek whitehead i mean not Derek whitehead Jalen Wilson and like dude does this mean Nick Claxton could be gone I feel like this means Nick Claxton could be gone I I just I find it so hard for him to, to potentially still be sticking around but they go in and they they fully embrace the the rebuild that they've needed to do which I think is like the the most important thing for them is to finally accept that yeah like hey like we needed to do this so like kudos to them for finally biting that metaphorical bullet and going ahead and understanding like hey we we aren't a championship team so it's in our best interest to go ahead and just basically let's just blow this thing up and hopefully we can get a championship team through the assets that we get through the nets i mean we've all seen how putting out the nets through the knicks but I think that's again, like I said, the the best best case scenario was doing that, so I think it was good. So now, New York, you got a championship team. It's unreal. You're a team that's. How do you not 
choose them to be the favorites? How do you not like the idea of like what I mentioned earlier, that nine man rotation, basically of just freaking unstoppableness. And for me, when we continue to look at how this team has just gotten better with every deadline and just understanding how to, to scour and take advantage of what needs to be done, I think has been probably the most impressive part about this team's just rise to the, like at this point, they're bona fide contenders. There's nothing you can say that changes that. And my God, the New York Knicks have themselves a stud in Mikhail Bridges. Kudos to them for being able to pull this deal off. I really, we talked about at the beginning of the video, but they just really just put together the best basketball, nine players deep in basketball. They, they have a guy who I want to know if like, I know we, we expect OG to come back, but what if this move is because they realized OG is not coming back? But I don't think that's the case. I think he is coming back and like, they don't have to worry. But I think, you know, whatever way you look at it, it there is multi-sided arguments for this, but I want to hear your guys' opinions down below in the comment section. What do you guys expect and, and why? But yeah, Mikhail Bridges is a New York Knicks after being a, a net. So, yeah, crazy, 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 crazy. I think that's a, the, the best way to describe this is like it's 10 o'clock on a, on a Tuesday. And I don't think anybody was expecting this trade to come through. I want to know who initiated it. I feel like Brooklyn just realized that they were on a sinking ship and it wasn't worth staying on it because I don't think they were going to gain anything by trying to make it work. If that makes sense, like it wasn't going to work. I think they realized that and they get themselves the salary the picks, everything you needed, and it worked out. Sean Marks, you're the guy. Also, did not expect this, but what are you supposed to expect? That's it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Do that good stuff, bro. Yeah, I think that is what we're going to end today's episode on, or whatever we're calling this. Unreal though, unfreaking believable. When you just look at it, but fine. Hope you guys enjoy it.